This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning at Business and Life podcast, where executives share their insights. It is six questions in seven minutes because successful business leaders are busy and rarely have more time to spare. So let's get to it. Question number one, in a few sentences, please tell me who you are and what you do. My name is Mike Mulfelder. I'm the Vice President of North America Sales for Jitterbit. I have responsibility for a team of salespeople across North America, selling our integration solution to a variety of businesses from mid-enterprise to enterprise. I've been uh, in this space uh, on and off for about 14 years and in sales uh, for over 30 years, which is remarkable for me to say because I'm just a kid. <laughs> Mike, it's great to have you on the show. Question number two, what's the best thing about working in your industry? Best thing is that we are in need to have solution. So I've sold need, nice to have and I've sold need to have. Uh, Jitterbit is an integration platform as a service. So we connect disparate systems, whether it's uh, a technology or an API, uh, and we move and transform data so that uh, our customers can best understand how to operate their business and be able to have a 360 degree view of their customer or a 360 degree view of their employees or their supply chain, and then be able to take action uh, and, and operate the business accordingly. And in this day and age, and even more so now, uh, the ability to understand that information and have a, a high degree of, uh, uh, of, confirmation of who your employees are, uh, what they're buying, or what they need of your customers and what they're buying uh, is really, really critical to success now. Mm -hmm. It certainly sounds like that. It's, it sounds like knowledge is king, basically. Yes. Yeah. Qu question number three. I have a book with all the answers for business. What chapter would you think most companies should read? The first chapter. Because the first chapter in that book is going to, is going to map out for you where you need to go and what you need to what you need to know. Mm -hmm. If you skip to the last chapter, you'll miss all you'll you'll miss all the good parts. And if you try to, mm -hmm. to hit the middle, you're same thing. You you may miss the important stuff. So if I if I look at the read the first chapter, it's going to tell me the things that are important to me, and then I can I can advance from there. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the uh, being like the, the 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 roadmap or the navigation of what you need where you need to go. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Love it. Question number four, other than the generic work harder, have a great attitude and care for customers, what advice or insight would you give to other business leaders? Uh, uh, more so now than ever, uh, be authentic, be empathetic and be involved. Um, and I mean, be involved in the right into not not to be a micromanager but be involved in the in the bits and bytes if you will of of each of your organizations that you're responsible for know how your people operate know the the processes know what their customers demand uh and just and know what they need so that you can uh offer advice and help make them better give them a better work environment uh give them a better work life uh, I, I think that that's critical uh, today and to, you know, to, to, to communicate uh, openly the things that you, you learn and understand from those interactions. Mm -hmm. And I think being authentic and open communication, if I'm understanding you correctly, that, that also allows your, your team, your employees, that they're going to be um, more committed to the work and more loyal. Would, that, would you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. People want to... Uh, they want to work for and work with people that they that they trust, and in order to to have that, the, that authenticity is critical to it. And so it, and it's same thing for from a sales standpoint. Uh, we've been talking in my sales organization for well over a year about this. Uh, you know, if you want to, if you're going to buy from somebody, trust is a big part of it. But mm -hmm. that that trust comes from authenticity. Uh, mm -hmm. If if you don't if you if you don't believe someone's being straight with you. Uh, about whatever the product is, they're not going to buy from you. That's right. That's right. And you got to show that you care. Now more now in this current era, now more than ever to be you know to to show that that caring and that empathy. Mm -hmm. Very insightful. Thank you for that. Question number five: What other executives like yourself would you like to acknowledge as a leader and invite to be on my podcast? Oh, I know some great folks. I, 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 could, I could give you a, a list as long as your arm, but there are, <laughs> there are three that are top of mind uh, actually here in, the Boston, in Boston where I am. Uh, I, would, uh, I would say Josh Allen, who's at Drift, uh, who I saw do a, 
a tremendous presentation on career pathing a bunch of years ago. Uh, he's just a, a super insightful and great guy. Um, Michelle Benfer at HubSpot. Uh, we worked together uh, at another company, and from the first meeting we ever had together, I knew that she was uh, just a, an incredibly smart um, and, and very gifted sales leader. And then uh, Tom Martin, who's the CEO at Glance Networks, uh, who's been a, just a, a tremendous friend and mentor for me, and he's built a great business. Wonderful. Those are three great referrals. I appreciate that. I'll reach out to them. And uh, question number six, please tell me about your first job. So my first job, and, I, uh, and we, we chatted about this a bit, my first job um, was cutting lawns and then delivering newspapers, actually both at the same time. Um, and I will actually uh, oftentimes ask this in a sales interview of folks. Um, now, we've aged out of that. You don't have uh, you know, people in their 20s and 30s that were cutting lawns and, and delivering newspapers. But what I'm looking for is some type of an entrepreneurial uh, self-driven job that they had as teenagers mm -hmm. uh, or even preteen. Uh, I learned delivering newspapers, things like how to ask for money. And that if I worked really, really hard and went the extra mile, I got better tips. Mm -hmm. So you know, and same thing with cutting lawns. Uh, and then my first uh, paying real job was uh, in a grocery store. Uh, I, um, maybe misrepresented my age to get my working papers because I wanted a, an, uh, you know, a, a real job. Yeah. Uh, and that same dedication uh, and commitment to the job, uh, I was the youngest department manager uh, in, the, in the, the grocery store chain, the small six store chain, uh, because of the, job, the work that I did. So that was my reward and I continued to work from there. Yeah, it's your reward and a reward of the uh, company for hiring you to be able to the grocery chain to hire you to to, to see you you know rise over the ranks so quickly. So congratulations oh, on it. Thanks, we both got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike, thanks so much for being on the show. How Thank can people you, find you? Well, how can people uh, find you? The uh, easiest way to find me is on LinkedIn. Uh, the hardest part is spelling my my last name, which is uh, M U H L F E L D E R, but. To the best of my knowledge, I'm the only Mike Mulfelder in the world and the only one on LinkedIn. So that's Perfect. all it takes. All right. Well, this is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning at Business and Life podcast. For more insights and ideas, please go to LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, or iTunes and search for the Winning at Business and Life podcast. Thanks for listening.